Hey, I'd like to show you how this little file works. Um, we've built a demo showing you how to drive Dayback Online, which is running over here in a web viewer, with URLs, which are running over here. So the way this works, we have some buttons over here that are just setting this web viewer to a different URL. And this is how we'd run Dayback Online in WebDirect. We'd put it inside a web viewer and uh, kind of see it that way. So why would you want to do this with buttons? Well, let's say you want to just load all the resources a given user has access to. Or you want to, well, for example, like this, you want to take a look at just one project scan chart. So I'll click Project Dirk Heights, and you can see all this stuff here. We probably see a little more over here. Um, and then we can click Reset over here. So if you take a look at these buttons, you'll see the button code for making all these changes. And it, they're really pretty simple. Um, you can see they're all using just kind of go to URL and basically day back and then a filter aspect here and this little user token. This is just for the demo. You don't need to use this um, on your own. So, so let's take a look at what you can do with this, which is uh, is pretty cool. And one of the things that's nice about this is this lets you build sidebars like this that, for instance, load all the projects for the all the active projects for the currently logged in user or all the resources that user has access to. You can drive a lot of, a lot of stuff over here. So let's take a look at filters and see what happens. So when we click on Dirk Heights. We see now we have a project filter and we can see that project right here. We can load multiple projects the same way and then kind of turn them on or off, which is, I think, pretty cool. We can combine that with contacts and even with uh, statuses and resources and kind of keep playing around in here. I, don't, I just don't think we have anything that matches all these criteria until we see some events that work for us. Um, pretty, pretty neat. And again, here's uh, the reset. We can even switch views. We can go over to the week view. We can go to a specific date, in this case to June 2nd. And then I think we can go, we'll open a specific event. We're gonna go, um, let me click that again. Yeah, so we went to the fourth, we switched back to horizon view and we opened this particular event. All I did really here was pass in this event's ID. So we have documentation about how all this works right here. Um, and I would encourage you to check it out. If you're not using Dayback Online yet, um, feel free to click here and check it out. You can. Point this at your own FileMaker server by starting your own trial of Dayback Online. This uh, version that's running here has you logged in as kind of a demo user, demo Dayback, and you don't really see any configuration settings. Normally there's all sorts of stuff about how to point this at your own FileMaker server. So if you want to see that, um, go to dayback.com or click right here and sign up for a free 30-day trial and you can start playing with this um, with your own FileMaker data, which is um, Pretty cool, but I hope you'll download this little file and check it out. Thanks.